We are here with the cast of La Boheme, and I mean, you guys, <laughs> uh, we just saw them rehearse, and I'm, I'm curious, is this like a present day uh, opera, or is this like a, I mean, are you guys going to have like the outfit, like tuxedo, and like, uh, what, what's, what's this? What's what you see right now is the costume for the show. Yeah. Yeah. We're basing the concept after uh, placing it in modern day. We're actually devoting the production uh, to the memory of the people who died in the ship fire in Oakland, California, this past December. So we wanted to kind of honor the, their lifestyle, the way that they were living, which was sort of a modern day moment. Um, so that's what we're going for. We're going for every day. And the original uh, opera is set in Paris in the early... Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the Belle Okay, yeah. Uh, right during that Bohemian era. So it, uh, era, era. And it's really easy to just transfer that kind of lifestyle, kind of living paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm burning stuff for fire. <laughs> yeah, and there was even a lot of political unrest at the same time, too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, it translates really well. And a lot of times, operas will, uh, opera companies to like save money, <laughs> even mm -hmm. too, will modernize things so that you don't have to have everybody in a tux. Yeah. And it's especially great for, for grassroots storefront opera like this because of the fact that, like, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really feel like renting a tux for yeah. the <laughs> These are all yeah. 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 Right. yeah. It also sort of connects you more to your audience. It's a lot easier to feel um, comfortable and to, to be able to interact with people if you're in clothing that you're able to move in, right. as opposed to, you know, a corset and a bustle. So tell us a little bit about the story of La Boheme. What, what is La Boheme all about? In a nutshell, boy meets girl, uh, other boy meets other girl, everybody has a big fight, and then someone dies. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's poor, so, true story, very true. And everybody's yeah. poor, and so we have a good time with that. Um, I mean, it, yeah. I mean you, you kind of saw a little bit of, of it, um, you know, you have Rodolfo and Mimi who meet for the very first time, then you have former lovers, Marcello and Rosetta, who reconnect, um, and then they're silly roommates and friends who just kind of tag along for the ride. I mean, it's it's a story about young people who are passionate about their art, trying to make it in a world where they're not respected, as we saw with their landlord, and they don't have the money to do anything. Um, so it's a struggle with love and money and power, and unfortunately, spoiler alert, someone dies at the end, and that's that's just yeah. typical opera so me. plot line. Oh, 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 <laughs> she hasn't died yet, no. But that, I mean, that's pretty basic opera plot: is someone dies in the end, and yeah. yeah. Basic opera usually plot. Yeah. Yeah. Usually yeah. a soprano. Usually a soprano. Yeah. yeah. I also think it's it's also kind of the death of like youth, like growing up. Yeah. Like, oh, like, yeah. like the very end of the opera, like all these people are like go through a huge change, and like you know, that's kind of really relevant. It's like the coming of age because of like real things that happen to you, you know. Adulting. Uh, adulting. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're also yeah. living without any consequences, and then they realize that you know, even when you have a lifestyle that you feel doesn't require any consequences, there are consequences for your choices. Yeah. Mm. So why did you guys choose Nightcap as your setting for for La Boheme? What, what, what made you guys look at Nightcap? It's in a phenomenal location. Pilsen is a really active artistic society. Um, it's got a great community feel to it. It's supported and well well-established in the community. Um, I think also that they, because of last year, it went so well that we just felt like the pairing was perfect. Um, yeah. It's just great. My understanding last year is that Aaron, the owner of Nightcap, actually reached out to Brenda Turner, who is the um, the founder of Opera Buffet, which is the opera company that's putting on Boheme. Um, personally, was like, we need opera in this space. I love opera. Get it in here. And that is the coolest part about it, I think, is that he was just like, I own a space, let's get at it. Because that most of the time when you're when people are just trying to make shit, the hardest way to make that happen is just like needing a place to put it. And that's really cool, I think. Can you guys give us like a sample, you know, a vocal sample of what you guys do? I don't know if you guys could just improvise on the spot, but what what can our audience look forward to uh, this uh, 21st, 22nd, and the 23rd, right? Three acts? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, there you have it. Bohem, 21st, 22nd, on the 23rd of April, here at Nightcap in Pilsen. Of course, a creative uh, creative neighborhood here. And we thank you so much for your time. And there's dinner. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, there's dinner. There is dinner. <laughs> there's dinner. So it's more expensive than it might be if you were just going to see a show. But there's dinner, and it's really good. So that's awesome. And so you should come. But that also means you need to get your tickets ahead of time yes. so we make enough food to feed you. <laughs> <laughs> because food. There's an industry discount as well. Uh, the codes, if you go online and you buy the tickets online, you put the code in Industry Love All Caps. Yeah, I'll get you $12 on this ticket. And the food is being prepared by the owner and Aaron Marsh. Yes. And it's delicious. Yeah. 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 It's just, yeah, it's just it's so good. Good. Yeah, we see it. Yeah, we Well, you left me. Please Well, thank you so much, guys, and we're looking forward to the show. Uh, Again, April 21st, the 22nd, and the 23rd here at Nightcap Cafe. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.